Well, hello again, everyone. It's uh, time for another edition of Art Regner's uh, video blog. And before we begin, I have a couple of uh, apologies I have to make. Uh, it's uh, odd when you start doing these things, the uh, things that people actually notice. Uh, a few chats ago, I uh, said that uh, Kate Upton was actually Kate Moss. And I've heard about it. I've apologized to Kate. And trust me, she's accepted. So, uh, so you don't have to get your uh, get all upset about that. Secondly, we're going to talk football today, college football, Michigan State and Michigan. As you can see, the sports corner we're adding to it every day. Uh, and I wanted to do this yesterday. However, I had to take care of a matter that uh, cropped up at the last second. So, uh, for all of you that have asked me, where's your Michigan, Michigan State comments? Well, they're going to happen in a matter of seconds right now. So I just wanted to uh, uh, apologize to Kate Upton and Kate Moss for that matter. And of course everyone that was expecting to see this yesterday, even though they're going to see it today instead. Well, anytime I talk about Michigan, Michigan State, of course being a graduate of the University of Michigan and having an undying love and devotion of Michigan, especially its football team since childhood, people can't think I can be objective. And that's really the furthest thing from the case. I really do have respect for Michigan State University. And uh, the fact is, being a Michigan fan, I really don't care that much about Michigan State University. And I think that's where the crux of this whole problem lies, is that Michigan fans believe that Michigan State fans are obsessed with Michigan when they should only care about their school. And, of course, Michigan fans are arrogant because they don't even have the audacity to admit, or they're, well, they're, they have the audacity because they claim that Michigan State is, irre is irrelevant in their lives and that state really doesn't mean anything, they're not even a rival. Michigan State is obviously a rival of Michigan, but they're not Ohio State. They're never going to be o Ohio State. And for those of you that think moving the Michigan-Michigan State game to the last game of the year instead of Michigan-Ohio State, you're dreaming that's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. As a matter of fact, you should be happy as a Spartan fan that Michigan and Ohio State want to play each other every year. They're the, uh, the division rivals or crossover rivals because your crossover rival from the leaders division is Indiana. That's a guaranteed win 19 out of 20 times, maybe one time. The Hoosiers will get their act together and might compete with the Spartans, but give me a break. Let Michigan and Ohio State have that. It doesn't have anything to do with you. And don't move that game to the last of the season. I understand. It'll be more drama. It'll be more drama. Well, let me give you this scenario. It's the last game of the season. Michigan's playing Ohio State. And for sake of argument, let's just say that you're playing your rival from the other division that you play every year, the Indiana Hoosiers. You each have one conference loss, the Wolverines and the Spartans. Unfortunately, the Spartans losses to Michigan, and Michigan blows a game to Purdue that they should have won. So it all comes down to the last game of the season. Michigan's playing Ohio State. You're playing Indiana. Let it go. Just let it go. Now, of course, the big talk heading into this college football season, a week from tomorrow, because this is Thursday, we find that uh, Michigan State will be hosting uh, Boise State. Uh, the Broncos, a team that I, uh, that I have followed for years because they're pretty exciting. Uh, and uh, Michigan will open a week from uh, this coming Saturday in two days in the Jerry Jones Classic or whatever it's called. They're going to be wearing another uniform, another, another alternative, uh, alternative jersey for Michigan. Great, great job. Uh, but um, they'll be playing Alabama. Well, Michigan is rated higher, I guess, in some polls, although if you look at it, I think the Spartans are rated higher in, in other polls as well. But I guess the two that count, the coaches poll and the AP poll, Michigan is 8th and Michigan State is 13th. Well, let's just say it plays out like many people think it's going to play out the first game of the year with uh, the Spartans, who are undefeated, I believe, the last two seasons at home, take care of business and beat Boise State. Michigan plays a real tough game against Alabama but loses. Then what do the rankings mean? Nothing. They don't mean anything as it is right now. So please, 
don't be so obsessive about Michigan being rated higher than Michigan State. Michigan has the name. They're always going to have the name for at least a couple of more generations. But Mark D'Antonio's doing a great job. He's turned it around. And, you know, the funny thing is, as much disdain as Coach D'Antonio has for Michigan, and trust me, he hates Michigan. Whenever I talk to anybody uh, associated with the University of Michigan Athletic Department, their football program, they really like and respect Mark D'Antonio. They think he's doing a great job at Michigan State. They think he's a wonderful coach, and they really, really like him. I know, Mark, now that you hear that, you're not going to be able to sleep. But the people in Ann Arbor, they dig you. They think you're doing a good job. So what does all this rating stuff come down to? It comes down to one player and one player only. This guy. Yes, Denard Robinson. Considered to be, if not the most exciting player in college football, one of the most exciting players in college football. That's why Michigan's getting the pub this year. They have a guy who's good television. He's great television. I have never seen a player in my life, and I've seen a lot of Michigan football players, and I've seen a lot of college football, a player who can be absolutely horrible and terrible and not even look like he belongs on the field, especially at the quarterback position, suddenly ignite a team. I still can't believe that they beat Virginia Tech last year in the Sugar Bowl, and Denard did not play very well. And then the last, what, five minutes of the Notre Dame game? He came to life. I mean, he's a special talent. He's a special player. Nationally, he's very well known. Nationally, Michigan gets the pub because of players like Denard Robinson. So, my advice, let it go, state people. Just let it go. Let Michigan be the, the arrogant, uh, you know what, as Daryl Rogers referred to him many, many years ago. But the fact of the matter is, you have a great football team. Will Goldston could be the best player in the country. Defensively, I think he is the best. The man is a dominant beast. Unfortunately, because he plays defense, and Denard Robinson plays offense, and one goes to Michigan, who has won more college football games. I think they've won more football games than any team that's ever played, including pros. And one plays for Michigan State that is still a building program at this point they're going to get more publicity, they get more recognition because of the tradition and history that they have. Michigan State, you're building and you're coming on, and obviously you have an illustrious history too. It's just not where Michigan's is at right now. But if Mark D'Antonio continues to do this, continues to dominate the Michigan-Michigan State series, eventually it'll turn, but it's going to take a while. Now, I think that, I haven't talked to a lot of my Spartan friends, and granted, I have more Spartan friends than Wolverine fans. Most of the people that I know, most of the people that I hang out with that chose to go to college chose Michigan State. So, believe it or not, I, uh, I have a lot of Spartan friends, as I said. I'm sure what they're going to harp on today is the fact that Dave Brandon spoke to the Economic Club of Detroit. And when he talked about it, he talked about these divisions because obviously with Ohio State and Penn State having trouble and being ineligible for uh, the Big Ten Championship game or winning a Big Ten Championship, Ohio State this year, they're not bowl eligible, and then Penn State, what, for the next four or five years. Uh, Wisconsin is going to be a cakewalk in the, uh, in the leaders division, probably for them to get to Indianapolis and play for the second consecutive year in the Big Ten Championship game. Dave Brandon was asked about, are they going to switch the divisions around because of the troubles? at Penn State and Ohio State. Dave Brandon said that what they did when they decided the divisions and they're not going to do anything is that they looked at the last 20 years and they seeded everyone from 1 to 6. Michigan and Ohio State were the number 1 seeds, so they separated them. The number 2 seeds at the time were Nebraska, even though they hadn't played a Big Ten game there yet. yet uh, they weren't really even a member of the Big Ten until last, what, uh, a year ago, January or whatever. Uh, they were the number two seeds, and the number three seeds were Wisconsin and Iowa. And then he stopped. Maybe he didn't, but uh, from the accounts I read, he said, that, so that's how they determined how the divisions were through a seeding. That would mean that Michigan State would be considered a fourth seed, maybe a fifth seed, depending on if Northwestern was more successful, I guess, than, uh, 
Uh, Minnesota, they, they don't even count. And, you know, Indiana, we know they were going to be number six. And then you have Purdue and Illinois on the other side. And, you know, but anyway, State would have been a fourth or fifth seed. I know. I know for my Spartan friends, I'm going to hear all about that. Oh, Brandon was just throwing it towards State. What do you mean we're number four and all that? You know, none of that stuff matters. What really matters is this upcoming football season. You've beaten Michigan four times. Be happy, be proud with it, and live with that. Do not obsess about what's going on in Ann Arbor because, trust me, they really don't obsess about you. They don't obsess about Ohio State. They're narcissists. They're totally into themselves. So you could use a dose of narcissism, Michigan State fans. Forget about the maize and blue. Forget about the University of Michigan. Concentrate on the green and white and the Michigan State Spartans. You have a great football team. You have a good opportunity to knock Michigan off for the fifth straight season. Okay, I, I do think you have the opportunity, but I can't see Michigan losing that game in Ann Arbor because Brady will have Michigan fired up. And it'll be Denard's only chance to actually beat them. But if Will Golston in the defense shows up, that is going to be a great game on October 20th. So with all that said, my advice, ratings mean nothing, especially this time of the year. So, please, why don't we just try to join hand in hand, maize and blue, green and white. I got my dashiki on, my peace dashiki. We're from the same state. Enjoy. I think you might see a cad here. Emilio. Yep, there he is. No, he's a big Spartan fan. See, he loves that shirt. No, Emilio. Get, get away. All right. I guess I'm going to have to end it now because gosh only knows what he's going to do. He has an angry temper when we talk Michigan, Michigan State. He's after me. He likes Kate Upton as well. But with all that said, I just want to say I am tired of this rivalry and I think it's gotten kind of ugly. But we should both be really happy and proud. We have two fine state universities, two Big Ten universities in this state. So let's calm down. Let's cool the rhetoric. Enjoy our football teams. And may the best team win on October 20th. Now, I'm going to tell you, I think that best team hopefully will be Michigan. But if it's not, congratulations, Michigan State. And Mark D'Antonio, lighten up, fella. Lighten up. Okay, that's it. Until we meet again, and I might have another one because Justin Verlander's losing 2 nothing right now. Will he ever win again? So I think you'll probably see me a little bit later tonight. But until then, have a safe and pleasant one, as I said. We'll see you. Bye-bye.